Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to solo carry on Cosmix without a leash. You're gonna want to take first strike, free boots, futures with Cosmic Sudden, Treasure Hunter, double AD, and armor. The main concept of the runes is to give you as much gold as possible to allow you an item advantage. Once you have an item advantage, the game is easy breezy. You go where you want, when you want, and do whatever you want. We're up against an Echo Jungle. They invaded us and got a kill already with their towns. Kind of bad for us. For our build, we're going to be running the highest win rate Kha'Zix build at 61%, which is an Eclipse, into Black Cleaver, into Sorrels. It's funny that it doesn't have... Oh, there it is. Nice. They actually seem to have added that. They normally don't recommend Black Cleaver as an item on Kha'Zix, but it's really, really good since they're dishing out so much physical damage. The Shred on it's super, super nice, plus the ability haste. Going to go for Q Max first, W second, and E last. But you want to start with W whenever you're solo starting. That we can start on Raptors. We're going to go ahead and auto, soak some damage, then pop W. Just like so. Focus all of our auto attacks on the big raptor. You don't really want to use your smite in this clear until Krugs. If you use your smite, you'll end up taking way more damage and you'll be way lower on health. Got our Q now. We'll lead in with Q auto. Auto W. And what we want to look to do is get level 3 with red buff as fast as possible. Look for an invade or a gank. It just depends on how good the gank looks. Or how good you think the invade's going to go. It's again something like an Evelyn Echo, a Zach, and those types of things. Easy things to solo. You'll lean more heavy into the vertical invade. Auto Q. Auto W. We get the AoE. The reason why we smited the medium one, one was we wanted the isolation damage on Q against the big one. Auto Q. Plus that now we get to use our W against these just like so. Get that juicy healing and we just did a pretty two minute 33 camp pretty fast for leashless get a point in our e and yeah this guy's kind of toasted and roasted here auto q i wasn't going to use my e or w yet because we we're still within auto attack range just in case he flashed we would need both of them or at least one of them he'll be on blue buff here in a moment he'll be here any second in fact, I could leave and go mid. It's either that or he started in my jungle, potentially. Oh, wait. He went bot side and got a kill. I wasn't even paying attention to that. So it looks like he did some kind of shenanigans. Got him with some damage, not with all of it. I'll continue to play topside heavy. I want to kill the Echo. All he got was an assist, so we should still be able to kill him. We got our ward down on his buff. Auto QW. I'll save Smite. Just need Fiora to bait this. Yeah, she's doing a good job. She's baiting it like a champ. I'm gonna auto QW. We still have our E. And down you go, my friend. I'll flash in, finish him off. Very nice. I can't really stay to uh, do what I want to necessarily. Just got to reset. I'm missing too much health. We got what we wanted though, which was lots of gold. Can snowball our item lead. Ideally on your first back, you should try to get a serrated. We couldn't really push that way fast enough. I guess I can come top. I do have serrated. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We were in a weird situation where we couldn't push it very fast with me and Fiora. And she kind of needed a reset for health and mana and then just come back to lane. Garen will be able to crash this, but I feel like she'll be able to soak a lot of it. And I'll be ganking here in a second. I'm gonna kite this out so I'm not tanking the big one too much. Auto Q, get the isolation damage. Auto W. We had a potential gank top, but Garen backs off and crashed the wave, so we can continue to full clear here. We see where he wards, so we continue to gank. I haven't really gone into my bot side yet, though. They're not easy to gank. Pike's mobile, Draven can knock me out of the air with his E. So top lane really is our best option, plus invading the Echo. Echo ran a really weird route, though. He either started in my jungle, or he just did like a three camp bot side into gank. Which is extremely abnormal for a full clear style jungler like Echo or an Evelyn. 
It's about to walk into me. This isn't worded, I don't think, either. We go ahead, auto Q, auto W. We need to get in the bush for extra damage. Ah, he's going to get to the plant. That's annoying. He's somewhere in there. I don't know if Ari can find him. I'll try to get to the plant. And there he is. He's going to suicide. 100%. Ari may or may not be able to kill him. Oh, yep. Yeah. Free gold for Ari. Nice. She just R's one more time. Yep, yeah, she gets the Echo Flash. That's hilarious. I'm only level 5. Me and Echo are definitely both behind from the way he's been playing. I'm not behind in terms of gold, but... I am behind in terms of XP a little bit. I need to continue my clear. I'll be hitting a relatively late level 6, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Kha'Zix level 6 is a huge power spike. Get a word down right here. Auto Q. Get with the W for the hill. And we'll be moving on to our blue buff. We don't even need the plant. We can heal back up. Yeah, so he did end up taking my blue buff at some point. Not surprised. Probably when he saw me topside, he just decided he was going to do it. I'll have to go back and watch the replay. He might have just started on it since they got to kill him by jungle. He's only level 5. Level 5 Echo's not that strong. Surprised Ari would bother to ignite him there. He's full health. She didn't have R. Maybe that was an accident. Auto W. Get the isolation. Very nice. Moving on to red buff. Looks like we'll be hitting level 6 pre-8 minute mark. That's still good. Good enough for what we need. Kha'Zix doesn't hit it that fast on average. Since uh, his full clears aren't great. His single target clears are good. But his he's got really slow Raptor clear speed. And not the fastest Krug clear speed either. We're missing out on the isolation damage from Q. Now we have upgraded Qs. Can absolutely chunk. If something's isolated. Monster minion or champion. Goes on a nearly a 50% reduced cooldown. And does double damage. Level 6 Kha'Zix can solo most champs in the game. It's also really good at soloing dragons. This game's a lot of vertical jungling so far. Kha'Zix can full clear, it's just that. His level 3 red buff is pretty strong. Auto Q, drop the W. Hey, Echo. I kind of have to leave. Yeah, I don't know why he thinks he can fight me at all. Like, I know Talon's coming, but uh, just one of those things, I guess. Echo can't fight me at all. I just kind of on weird cooldowns. I don't want to overcommit because of the Talon. Echo's thinking about crossing over. I could take Harold here. All he does have is red buff. Ari sees him. He's a very... <sighs> He might still go over. We'll see. I think that control word will catch him out if he does. We're taking this really, really fast with the evolved cues. That's around the time you're going to start soloing dragons. Smite him down. Very nice. Garen's going to back off because he knows I'm in the general area. They got dragon for this. That sucks, but they had bot prio anyways. I don't think there's much we could have done about that. I don't think this is worded. Hey, buddy. We can WE, land the same time as our W. Get him with the Q. I can back at my full Eclipse. Also go for a Long Sword. Reboots on Kha'Zix, you have a lot of options. Swifties are always decent. In this case, they're quadruple physical. Only magic is echo. This is a clear play to still cap type of game. Plus, it's not uncommon for Draven and Talon to get uh, lethality items as well. So, Especially the Talon and Pike. This is a very clear cut, plated type of game. Although Swifties would be decent. I haven't had too much action lately. Perhaps I could do something bot side. All my camps are up though. Ooh. Their Draven is pushing though. 
another point to our W, always max W second. We can R out a bush. Just depends on if this is awarded or not. I feel like it is. Hey friend. Well, we got Draven Flash. We'll take it. I want to get him with the isolated Q. Couldn't find it. We'll go mid. Talon's low. Far is low. There's a good chance Talon's low because of her. A lot of her damage isn't skill shots on her W electrocute. We can flash from if we need to. I assume his R is on cooldown. Flash R Q in midair. Down he goes. Always, always Q in midair. Not sure where Echo's at. I can't really run neutral here. I don't want to run into a stun and have him kill me. Instead, we'll go for this. There's nothing on the map to really take. And since they already knew where I was and I was missing health, we're not going to blind invade and echo. Fjord gets the stun. Flashes out. That's good. Fjord's actually playing kind of clean. It was a really nice Q. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> that sucks. She did a good job of baiting it. Just had to wait a little, little bit longer, I think. Oh well. I don't really want to do anything too crazy here. Even if Garen doesn't have uh, his R. I don't know where Echo is. I, I don't want to do this. The Echo I'm missing, it's weird. Absolutely not worth. Dragging up in 155. We could push over for Echo. I'll grab my red buff first. Red buff or Talon, either or. He'll set up the invade. So I guess that works. He's already backing off. Was I on a ward? That was so random. He just started moving. I could take this mid. Get first turret. Punish Talon for roaming. He randomly went over to red buff. Very weird. There's nothing really over here. Yeah, that's first turret gold. That's what you get from roaming Talon. When jungler has Herald. Not much for me to do here. Should you just smack him in the head? That was, that was decent enough. I don't think she really needs me here. I'm going to R away. I don't really feel like dying. I also did get his Ignite. Not sure where Echo's at, so I'll go ahead and back off for a moment. Okay, he's mid. We're fine to take his uh, Herald then. Did some damage to the Garen. He also blew his Ignite. Auto Q. I do need to path over for Dragon. Oh, this thing's going to try to reset on me. Echo's a level up. That's sad. He's a little bit more CS. We have four kills, though. I only put my Eon cooldown to farm since I know where Echo's at. Otherwise, I would not do that. They're going to get free dragon. Absolutely. My bot lane reset right when dragon's coming up. It's a bit of an oof. Oh well. Not much I can do about it now. I guess they just get two drags. Oh well. <laughs> Auto QW. Smite it. Fiora's low. She can't really stay. Get this guy out of the way. And pop it with W. Get that sweet, sweet isolation. Can I solo Garen right now? Ugh, I don't know. I suppose I can with red buff. Garen's the type of champion that isn't easy for Kha'Zix to kill until you have Black Cleaver on Kha. I could do it at this point. We'll stay out of vision, use R to get close to him. What in the world? R out, auto QW. 
We got red buff autos on him, so he can't move that quickly. R again. Auto Q. Auto E. And the E's also behind him. Hey, Echo, you shouldn't have done that. Auto Q. Remember when I said you shouldn't have done that, Echo? Well, you almost just killed me. <laughs> Holy crap. It's kind of wild how much damage he did there. Holy moly, he almost killed me. Straven gonna R. Let's keep an eye on him. Oh my god, he already done it. Holy crap. <laughs> what a freaking turn. Oh my goodness. Second item, Cleaver it is in the plated. I'm gonna be a lot stronger now. Lots of HP. The shield and speed up from Eclipse is super, super useful. Be able to stay on top. Plus the Cleaver speed up once we're in combat dealing physical damage. The Cleaver shred, 80 health and ability haste. Nothing on that Cleaver goes wasted on Ka. It's a delicious item. Your only magic damage on Ka is nothing. I thought his W or his E was, but they're both physical damage as well. It's only magic damage is his passive, which is a very minimal source of damage. His passive more than anything is for the slow. I mean, one one isolated Q is doing nearly 700 damage, and our passive only does 112 on my first auto if they haven't seen me. Not much. Got Empowered W. It helps you to escape, chase down, and team fight. Big AoE damage and slow. It's hard to go wrong with that evolution. If you're a Giga Turbo Fed 1v9 mode, you can go E evolution second, but like I said, the W is so much more versatile. We have jungle item finished. It's time to go into overdrive mode. I don't even think I broke that word. I need to break that stupid thing. Draven is very squishy. Oh my god, I messed up my E. I'm pretty quick. And he's 90% slowed. <laughs> They got wards everywhere, dude. I have the bush speed up. Can't really get to me. Huh, I don't know. So a lot of stuff going on right here. He left a ward as well. That's fun. I'll go ahead and just keep using the bushes. Bushes are my friend. There's nothing to take. I still have the bushes. Wow, Pike one tapped my ward. That's gross. I don't know why that's a thing. I, this is probably worded with the way they're acting. They're all acting so strange. Umbral isn't bad on call. This is the stage of the game where I would want oracles. They're, they're just so defensively stacked up. She didn't go in at all. Not sure where the pike's at, but a talent. Auto Q smite. Oh my gosh. Down with my W, E away. He's going to have to flash for me, I think. If I didn't have the slow on my W, I think I would have died there twice over from the talent and from the pike. Get our W slow down. Still want to try to help in this fight if I can. Got my W down. Couldn't do much off of it. Certainly provided a degree of moral support. Is Pike looking for an invade on me? I'm going to smite this down. They're going to get another dragon. No fudging way. That's so bad for us. They are just legit. Gonna get dragged. Damn. A flash auto Q. Down you go, buddy. <laughs> he died really quick. I don't think he's expecting that. His dash may have been on cooldown. He's just definitely not expecting that, though. Oh, it's healing rapidly when I go invisible. That's fun. It's actually really important that they didn't get this. Too many of them reset for Fiora. That was a massive uh, blunder for them to back like that. That dragon was their win con and they just threw it. Hey, Pike.
I know this bush is warded, but what am I going to do? I have to speed up from it anyways. It can't really keep up. Oh, no. He found my ward. <laughs> oh, it's tragic. I'll be taking this. It's already isolated. Cool. I'll take it really fast. Hey, Echo. Auto Q. In with my smite. Q me midair. Auto Q, auto, down you go. He goofed up there a little bit. We're also equal items. He's one full, one full. So we're both two. Plus boots. He kind of goofed that up. He got too excited there. This is usually when you go for Surlds. Pick that up. I don't mind going to debt. It does cost you 50 gold to go into debt for some reason, because that's a good idea. But uh, it's worth. We're not basing that much since we're fed more fed than most people on the map. Once you have your lead on Kha'Zix, the more you invade, the more objectives you get. The more aggressive you get to play. That's why I'm trying to be in his jungle as much as possible. And I can do so safely. And since we have blue jungle item finished as well, it's pretty much always safe. So we go in a bush and go zoom zoom fast. We're going around 100 movement speed faster just by being in bush. 540 instead of uh, 400. You can just play for drags, play for picks. Their comp's really, really tough. They have a very balanced comp. Very dive heavy, though. I think Draven was over here. He didn't go for plated, he absolutely should have. I'm gonna e to get to him, W for the slow, auto Q, auto Q. That's why having W slow is nice, especially the 90% isolation on it. Really, really nice. You don't really split on Ka, this is a strange occurrence. Though if someone who you can solo is splitting on the enemy team, you can certainly go bundle them up. I don't want to waste E in the enemy territory. I kind of need to save that. Oh, okay, that's fun. More rewards. Why don't you eat on that town? 90% slow. I know those are fun to deal with. More slows. He's going to have to flash for it. You can't keep up. <laughs> Even a pike with Mobies can't keep up. As long as I land my W, which is pretty easy to do. Draven's going to go for a red buff. They're probably hovering it, though, so. Can't really stop it. I have four teammates top. Oh, Draven went top. Pike went top. Oh, free red. Oh, wow, okay. Don't mind if I do. Echo's not getting much CS anymore. This is a weird fight. Also clear waves on Kha'Zix a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and R in. Down you go. Auto Q. Flash E. Oh, I couldn't quite get him. That's bad. Get with my WQ auto, and Garen just got a thousand gold. I overcommitted for the pike. He was too slippery, and I couldn't pinch him. Rails just got to keep running. She lives. At least we'll be alive for dragon fight, as long as they don't stand on it right when it spawns. We got Surlds now. Typically at this point, it's just super situational. They don't have that much self healing to where I would need Kempunk with that of Vlad, Mundo, Soraka, Swain, Warwick, Aatrox, anything like that. We would definitely go for it, but they don't. Instead, I would rather have probably Silvermere Dawn, to be honest. Getting CC'd is extremely bad for us. Could just go Edge of Night as well. They have a lot of stuff that Edge Knight would counter, like Pike Stun, Pike Cook, Draven Knock. Only thing that they could scrape it easily with is Talon Rake, and even blocking that isn't the worst thing in the world. Get out there, boys! Don't let them have it. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't get it. That sucks. Nearly killed Echo before he could go off. Down you go. I don't know if that was even worth it for them, to be honest. I'm all dying like that. Hey, Pike. WEQ, auto, down you go, buddy. He'd actually calculated decently. He just looked like a goofball because I was moving really fast because of the bush. I don't think he had that calculated in when he Q flashed there. Yeah, I was moving really, really fast. I could basically move faster than his hook. I could kill Draven here. He's foolish enough to fight. That sucks that they get dragged. Oh, well. As long as I don't die again. Draven, oh, he almost stole it. What an animal. Now it's a matter of pushing down lanes, taking turrets. If you have absolute focus gathering storm, your late game on Kha'Zix is very solid. With this type of build, full build, your late game isn't amazing. It's just kind of average. It's also somewhat dependent on what the enemies have. Echo's three levels down on us right now. It's hilarious. They get him with an auto Q. Add the bush to retreat to. Almost had him there. Surprised we couldn't pinch. Auto Q W. It's time for me to reset. Sitting on so much gold. Axiom Arc, I wouldn't mind having that. I'll go Death Stance here. I'll also pick up Sweeper so we can do more Assassin, Deep, Deep Flanks, and uh, all sorts of stuff. But if we're on a ward, we, it absolutely won't work, and we need to know if we're on a ward because they might slowly choke around us. I have no idea. Gromps up, I'll grab that real quick. Might as well, just a few hits. Hey, Pike. He's trying to take off my thing before he jumps. That's smart. Let's see if I can find any wards here. Oh, there he's there. Huh. I wonder why he went that way. He almost just died. <laughs> All I needed was one more hit. So many wards, man. It's ridiculous. Alright. No more chasing Pike. It's time to end this game. Until we're full build, we're not technically falling off. And we're still level 17. So we have more length. More rope. Before things get ugly for us. is a weird situation got my jump reset kind of ended up wasting a lot there I guess he can see me from the turret there <laughs> I was too close to turret range just stay on the base Talon goes in for the chase down Ari lands charm minion damage gonna fit seal the deal it's probably GG's I'm only going Death Stance since they're so physical damage heavy, otherwise I'd flex into something more neutral, like a Yomu's or even a GA, even though it gives armor, it's more neutral, because with the death mechanic and all. All in all, Kha'Zix is a lot of fun right now. The invades are much more rewarding than they've been, which is great since he's not a very good full clear type of jungler. The changes certainly helped him out a lot, especially if the enemy jungler is going to do a normal full clear, not randomly show up on your side of the map. So we got damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we had the most in the game, barely edging out the MF. Very cool. For damage taken, we took the most on our team. And for self mitigated, we were kind of just middle of the pack. Not bad. For runes, really good value. All in all, Kha'Zix, like I said, he's in a decent spot right now. His invades are on point. His three camp clears fine. His five camp clears fine. But it's not. An, it's, he's not a great full clear champion. So you have to be a little bit more aggressive with him. With that being said, Kane is S plus tier right now. Kha'Zix is kind of high B tier, low, mid-low B tier. So mid to high B tier, I'd say. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.